Is something leaning behind me? biggest track meets in the world, the Diamond League meet that's taking place here. I thought, why not go to Italy, take a look around. So we were going to see the Statue of David, and the line to get in is this. And it, it loops around, down around the block, and as much as I want to see that giant naked man, I'm going to have to pass. So here we are in Rome, outside the Colosseum. This is where the gladiators used to fight. No, no, not those kind. Yes, yes, th those kind. Dehydrated, come on down, it's very fun. Now, I was under the impression in Italy that everybody dressed like Mario. Which, to my disappointment, is not true. So for those Nintendo fans out there, spoiler alert, Super Mario Bros. is a hoax. Lean on me when you're not strong. I'm gonna keep eating my... Gelato. I like it, a gelato. And to give you an idea of how good the food is here in Italy, I've incorporated carbo loading into my training so much that I've had to cut out all running. Real life gladiators. They're still just roaming the streets of Rome, just chilling out. They're like, what's with all this technology? I'm a gladiator. I don't understand this place. I have not seen one single person dressed in blue overalls, a red shirt, and a mustache. I even ate a mushroom. I didn't grow bigger. Though Italy is known for some of the biggest cities, biggest monuments, I gotta say, their running trails are some of the best I've ever seen. Over here, over my shoulder, the city of Florence. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna continue running this way through the mountains of Italia. But while you guys watch this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna run up this trail. Here we go. Awkward video of the week. Here, while running through the mountainside, we found these caves. Percolo Audata Masi. I can only imagine that means come inside. In Italian, we figured out that this means do not enter. Bowser is keeping the princess in there. Um. <laughs> Alright, we're leaving. I'm scared of bears. I think there's bears in there. As we all know, Usain Bolt's at the meet. He has his own clothing line and actually decided that Rome is where he wanted to introduce his new apparel. Finally, somebody in Italy is dressed like an Italian. Thank you, Usain. Runner Space Rundown. It's time for those runnerspace.com slash Nike Hub race time photos of the week. Keep submitting and yours might make it on next week's show. Yep, Runnerspace Network side of the week, runnerspace.com slash UBC. This is the official fan side of the University of British Columbia track and field and cross country teams. Like all good Runnerspace Network sites of the week, you can check out lots of photos, videos, the latest news and more. And now, the weekly Nike Track Nationals update. If the competition ended today, these are the teams that would make it to the championship meet at Hayward Field on June 25th. Okay, starting with teams. On the guy side, surprise, surprise, Vista Marietta of California still on top, even adding another 77 points now with a score of 8,256. But coming out of nowhere, taking over the South lead and the US number two spot is North Shore Track Club of Texas. And on the girls, surprise, surprise, Chandler Track Club of Arizona hangs on to the lead. But Long Beach Poly of California inch closer this week, cutting that lead down by 80 points. And the individual rankings are as follows. On the guy's side, there are no changes in the top 10 point scores. We're getting late in the season and these marks are holding up. Can Nick Venice's shot put be dethroned as number one? I think not. The girls' side is a similar story. The top seven marks held strong. But guess what? Even more 100s on this top 10 list now. Two of them, actually. Aaliyah Brown in 8th and Sierra Smith in 10th. That makes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 100s in the top 10 list.
It's the High School Rundown. <laughs> yeah, so let's start at the Oregon State meet. Something we're all used to here, a great day from the Krauser family. Ryan Krauser of Barlow won the 6A shot put and discus. But get this, due to an injury, he threw from a standing position, no glide or spin, just upper body strength. His best discus throw was 179.1, and his best shot put was 65 feet, 7 and a half inches. And Ryan Krauser's cousin, Haley Krauser, a sophomore of Gresham, won the javelin with a 169 foot, 7 inch throw. Thomas Tyner of Aloha High School ran a meet record in a very close battle in the 100 with a 10 foot. Four, eight. And Chansey Summers of Essicada won the long jump and her fourth straight high jump title with a height of 5 feet 10 inches. Gotta go to the California Southern section next. These were the finals in a very, very strong section. Just a couple of the highlights. In the boys D3 100, Ramonte McLean of Covina ran a division record 10-3-1. That's a US number two time, but in the 200, he would not be outdone by anyone in the nation. He won with a nation leading 20.68. Also with an incredible double was Malia Cox of Long Beach Poly. She won both hurdle events in division one, but not only did she win, she ran nation leading times in both with a 13.42 in the 100 hurdles and a 40.94 in the 300 hurdles. And another great double here also from the Long Beach Poly girls squad. Coco Endeport won the D1 200 at 23.62 and the 400 with the US number 2 53.86. At the Illinois State meet, fantastic performance from Kayla Beattie of Woodstock. She won the 3200 with a 9.56.9. That's a state record number five all time. And she also doubled winning the 1600 and a 4.43. Bree Central's Jenna Heyman, already the nation leader in the high jump, got the jumps triple. She added the long jump to her list of nation leads with a 20 foot one and a half inch jump and won the high jump and triple jump. Oh yeah, she also won the 100 to get a quadruple. At the West Virginia State meet, Jacob Bertram ran a state record 408 to win the 1600, but that wasn't good enough for him. He also won the 800 and 3200. At the Colorado 5A State meet, Eleanor Fulton of Highlands Ranch got a distance triple. She won the 800, the 1600, and the 3200. And lastly, at the University of Windsor Open in Ontario, Canada, 16 year old Brandon McBride ran a 150.2 in the 800. That was good for second place in that heat. It's the College Pro Rundown. Let's kick it off with the USATF Occidental High Performance Meet. We had a live webcast of this meet for the second year in a row. Big story here came out of Section 1 of the Men's Championship 800, where UCLA's Corey Prim upset a number of professionals to win with a personal best 144.7. That's a personal best for him, but also an American and collegiate leading time. In the Men's 1500, it was Andrew Weeding in his second race of the 2011 season. He ran a 336.4 to edge out Kyle Miller, who was second in a 336.8. Miller ran a five-second PR in that race. The women's 1500 was taken by recent Washington grad Katie Fallon. Having a fantastic season, got another PR with a 407.4 and two sub twos in the women's 800. Alice Schmidt was the winner in a 159.4 and New Balance's Maggie Vesey was second in a 159.5. Also a deep women's steeple chase. Eight women broke 10. Lisa Aguilera of Nike came out on top in a 943. At the NTC Classic meet in Florida, Jamaican sprinter Steve Mullings ran a personal best and world leading 989 in the 100. But who knows, that time might be going down at the next Diamond League, which is tomorrow, May 26th. It is, of course, in the country of our show filming location, Italy, Rome to be more specific, and the world record holder in 100, Usain Bolt, will be making his season debut. Should be a good race, he'll be facing off against fellow Jamaican Asafa Powell. Also of note, the world record holder in the 800, David Rhodesia, has pulled out of this meet due to a foot injury. He also missed the Diamond League opener in Qatar. Bad news. And lastly, our Runner Space Network side of the week last week, the 401 West Distance Series, kicked off this last weekend with the University of Windsor Open. Fast Women's 800 here, won by Melissa Bishop of Ottawa Lions. She ran a meet record 204.8 to narrowly get the win. It's here the road racing rundown. I think we'll start off with the Austrian women's 5K. Portuguese women Ana Dulce Felix and Jessica Augusto took the race out hard, but Ana Dulce Felix brought it home, getting a course record with a 15.27, also a personal best for her. Jessica Augusto was second, also with a personal best, 15.52. At the Jetteborg Svarvet Half Marathon in Sweden, there were new course records on the men's and women's side. This will likely be the largest half marathon in the world this year, 43,000 finishers. And the one that bested them all was Kenyan Albert Metabor. He ran a personal best and course record one hour and 52 seconds. Also a Kenyan victory on the women's side, Joyce Chep Karui ran a personal best course record 109.04 to win by over a minute. At the South African 10K Championships, that was easier to pronounce, on the men's side, 25-year-old Lucky Mahali got the win here in a 29 flat. He beat out the defending champ, Stephen Makoko, who was 16 seconds back in second. In the women's race, defending champ, 23-year-old Yvette Van Blurk defended her title and dominated, winning by almost a minute in a 34.03. Hey, here's one to look forward to. The Boulder Boulder 10K in Colorado is coming up this Memorial Day, May 30th. And and U.S. half marathon record holder Ryan Hall is scheduled to compete. Nothing gets you up for a run in the morning like an Italian coffee. It might be small, but man, it's potent. Italian coffee. Mother of us all. You know, it's not size that matters. It's quantity of caffeine. Well, it looks like I've finished my pizza here and thus finished another episode of Runner Space Live. 
close out the show, I'd like to toss a coin into Trevi Fountain and make a wish for all you runner spacers out there that all your wildest dreams come true. Okay, let's go do it. Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to eat this bird. You got video going? Yeah. This cat is sneaky. He doesn't even care that he's on Ruin Ruin Ruins. Oh, we almost got him. Now he's just looking really epic. He's just like the Lion King. In the circle of life. 